Yes guys, what is going on? I hope you're all well and in this video I'm down at Dub Customs and I'm going to be removing the front bumper of my BMW M140i. It's going to be in two parts what I'm doing today. Obviously we're going to have all the removal of the bumper with all information in today's video and in the next video I'll be showing you guys what I did obviously once I removed the bumper. Yeah, so to save time and just save the video from being too long. I'm literally going to do it in two parts, but yeah, loads of projects going on behind the scenes, so no B-roll and not too much, I'm not going to have to, I, won't, I can't, in other words, I cannot show you what's going on because there's a lot of projects going on today, but yeah, let's get straight into okay. the video. Alright, so as we said, we are going to be removing the front bumper, why? Various, as I said, so you could either be fitting mesh or in here, I don't know how well you can see it, there's two bars that are in there, most people wrap them in a colour that they choose, but yeah, first things first, we're going to remove the bumper, so we're going to pop the bonnet because there's some screws along the top. Just in there, there's some screws underneath and there's some screws in the wheel arch you're going to have to remove to get access to screws that are in there. But yeah, once we take the bumper off, I'll then be able to show you guys exactly where every single screw was located. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so in terms of the top, as I said, we're going to be removing this little rubber thing here. Rubber thing, that's not very professional. Sean, help me out. Rubber trim. Trim, okay. Thanks, Sean. Uh, you probably heard that. Seal. But yeah, seal, okay. Trim, seal, thanks, Sean. But yeah, we'll be removing that, so it literally pulls out, no screws needed. And what it does, it exposes, just place it there safely, what it does, it exposes all of the bolts that you're going to have to be removing. So they are all T30, we are going to whiz all of them out and we're going to place them to one side. And I might even put a label down on the floor to symbolise that. But maybe masking tape and just write top so you know that these all belong to the top. Alright, so I've jacked up the car slightly. I'm not going to take the wheel off, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the wheel that way, so the steering wheel that way to make the wheel point on the inside, and that's going to allow me to get access to the bolts that are on the inside of the arch that are going to be holding the arch liner to the bumper as well. So now we've taken out the three screws. I don't know how well it will come out, but again, I'll show you once the bumper's off. One, two in here, and then there's a third one, which is gonna be further up on the actual arch liner. The next thing we wanna do is push it away as much as you can, and then we're gonna go in here, which is this side of the bumper, which attaches to the arch, and there's gonna be two screws in there as well. So we're gonna remove those, and then we'll just have to go on the other side and repeat the exact same thing, but obviously I won't show you that part, because it's the same. Okay, so ever so quickly you can see now I have removed it. If I can get focus over here, you can actually see there are just two holes. So you can see there's one here and one there. So there's literally just two. So that's one, two. So I'm just gonna slide that back so I don't scratch up my headlight too much. And the same on the other side, there was one, one and two. So obviously once the, once the bumper's off, I'll show you better. But also over here on the bench, you can see I've got two long ones 
one there, one there. That screw doesn't have to be removed. So again, you don't have to remove that silver screw. And then there's another one, one and two. They are a bit of a pig to get to. So if you do decide to take it out, what I do recommend is that you use, like I don't know what the correct term is for this, but it's, it allows you to bend it at different angles. And if you can use a ratchet gun, then use one. If not, use a socket wrench, uh, ratchet rather, and that will help you remove it. But you're definitely gonna need one of those flexi arms there, but yeah. Both of these areas are now done. So those are the wings done. I just need to go underneath the car. So for that, I will be jacking up the car and then I'll be able to go under there and remove all of the eight millimeter bolts that are underneath. Peggy 18. So as you can see, I've also had to take off the splitter because there are some more bolts and obviously where the splitter is placed, it covers those bolts. So yeah, splitter off. But as I said in the previous video, when I did fit the splitter, I said I'd be taking it off in a few weeks or whatnot because I'd have to be bolting it to the car with the actual bolts and nuts, which gives it a better uh, fitment, makes it more secure. So yeah, a few more eight millimeters under there and then we can finally the remove the bumper. Been removed. The ones in the wheel arch, the ones underneath the bumper, the ones on the top part of the bumper. So now moment of truth, is it gonna come off? wanting to take over just go with the flow all right so as you can see the screws we removed one there two three just make sure it's all in focus three four five six seven and eight so there's in total eight screws on the underneath that need to be removed if we go around the side this probably isn't the greatest angle but there was two in here and obviously along the top you had one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the side here, whoa. and on the side here you can see three along the arch area which I removed and that's just for the arch. Two holding the left side and two holding the right side to the wing which again you don't have to remove those two silver ones and all of the screws along the bottom, which we've already gone through, and then the ones on the top. But yeah, guys, that is the video. Again, if this video is long, it's only because I needed everything to be covered. Part two is coming out, and you'll be able to see why, that, why I took it off, and also I'll be putting the splitter back on, but this time with bolts. But yes, guys, give it a like if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.